For the following exercises, determine whether the graph of the function provided is a graph of a polynomial function. And if so, determine the number of turning points and the least possible degree for the function. All right, so a couple of rules here, all right? When you're dealing with a polynomial function, the domain, the domain must be all real numbers. All right, said, in, said another way, we can say that x, the x values must go to negative infinity and x must also go to positive infinity, okay? Writing it in a certain notation you might be familiar with, the domain would be from negative infinity to positive infinity, all right? So let's just take a look at these graphs and let's see if we can visually tell whether that's the case. So looking at the first graph on the on the right hand side, on the left hand side, right? That's my left, right, okay, yeah. The left hand side, uh, notice how this graph goes all the way, it's gonna go on and on and on and on forever. Okay, it's gonna move on and on and on forever in the negative y direction, we can clearly see that, and it's also gonna move in the negative x direction. X direction, the x direction, it's a new word. The x direction, okay? So that satisfies so far this constraint. And then the polynomial over here goes on and on and on, all the way to positive y, and uh, it'll also move in the positive x direction as well uh, to infinity. Okay, so this satisfies it. This one also satisfies it, right? It goes on and on and on forever in the negative x, and this will go on and on and on forever in the positive x. Okay, that's fine, right? Now you might start saying, well, I don't think there's gonna be some vertical asymptote. You could be right, by the way. Depends on what the function is. Now we don't know if it is or not yet, but don't worry, we'll be able to come to a conclusion in a bit. Same thing here with this one. This goes on and on and on forever, this, uh, you know, in that direction. So it does go on and on and on forever in the negative x direction. And same thing here, it goes on and on and on forever like that, and it does move to the positive x side, right? So all these meet the first condition, okay? Domain must be all real numbers. So we just talked about all the x values basically, right, for the domain, okay? It has to go all the way to the left and then all the way to the right. Now what has to happen for the y values is this, that the left-hand side, the left-hand side, and the right-hand side must go out, must go to infinity in the y direction, okay? It has to go out to infinity in the y, all right? The left-hand side of the polynomial and the right-hand side must go to infinity, okay, in the y direction. So maybe let me just erase that y over there. Let me bring it over here, the y, okay? This is kind of the x. All right, so you can get rid of this domain word if you don't like it, right? Just erase it, and you can just write all real numbers, okay? The x values have to be all real numbers, all right? All the way from negative to positive. And now for the y, the left hand and the right hand side must go to infinity, so watch, okay? Take a look at this graph. Where is this thing headed? Headed way down, right? Way, way, way down forever and ever and ever. So it's going to negative infinity in the y direction, right? Y will equal negative infinity there. That's good. This side has to go to some infinity. I don't care if it's negative or positive. Don't care. It has to go to infinity somehow. On the right-hand side of the graph here, where's it going to go? It's going to go on and on and on forever all the way up, right? All the way to positive infinity, okay? This now function satisfies both conditions. It goes on and on and on in the negative x. It goes on and on and on in the positive x. That has to be met. And it goes on and on and on to some, neg some infinite value in the y direction on the left-hand side. Happens to be negative, that's fine. Same thing here on the right-hand side. It goes out to infinity and it's positive that time. So this one we can conclude now that this is indeed a polynomial. I'm just gonna call it poly, okay? Now this one, we already said that it met the uh, criteria possibly, right? We can't really tell if this will reach some vertical asymptote, but they didn't give it to us. So let's just assume it's gonna go on and on and on forever. All right, so it does go all the way out to the negative x and it will eventually go all the way out to the positive x, so that's good. But does it meet the second criteria? Well, if we look at the right-hand side first, that does look like it meets it, right? It's gonna go on and on and on and on all the way up, okay, to positive infinity. So y will equal some, you know, y is eventually gonna equal some positive infinity number. Now, you, somebody's gonna say, uh, you can't equal infinity. I, I know that, I know that. But I don't care, <laughs> I don't care. All right, it's just y is going out to infinity. You can, however you want to write it, feel free. On the left-hand side, 
what's going on with the y over here? Is this y, is the value here going to reach some infinite value in the y direction? No, it's reaching some constant y value. Call it y is equal to one now, right? In order for this thing to have been a polynomial, you gotta make a turn up here. That would be fine. It would go to some infinite value. It would be positive then, that's great. Or it's gotta make a turn down here, right? That's good, and you might already see that, right? Isn't that a parabola looking thing? That's the x squared, and isn't this a cubic, right? An x cubed, okay? It's gotta to go to infinity somehow in the y direction on both sides. So this one does not satisfy that second condition, and therefore it is not a polynomial. Now I'll take a look at this one, right? Again, we said it goes all the way out to the negative x and the positive x, all right? And it's gonna go out to positive infinity in the y direction right, positive infinity, and also same thing here, goes out to positive infinity. I don't care what infinity it is, it's got to go out to infinity, okay, on both sides in the y direction. Now, armed with that, we can state that this is a polynomial. I feel like I'm being very forceful in this video, I'm not really sure why, but maybe I'm just trying to make a point. I feel like if I, if I really say it in a serious voice, it'll, it'll click better. So, we did that, okay? Now, who cares about this one? It's not a polynomial, so we're not gonna talk about turning points and least degree. Now this is simple. Okay, determine the least possible degree of the polynomial function. I'm gonna put it over here on the bottom left. The LPD, or the least possible, that's LPP. LPD, the least possible degree of the polynomial is gonna be the number of turns. The number, if I could spell that would be great. I really need more sleep. The number of turns plus one, okay? So when you look at this function, you're gonna start on the left-hand side, work your way to the right. Notice you make a turn here, right? This is a turn. That's considered one turn, and then you're gonna go, whoop, change your direction again, that's two turns. Okay, two turns plus one, how much? Three, right? That's gonna be your least possible degree of the polynomial now, three, okay? Meaning it would be some cubic, some third degree polynomial, okay? So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna write now, maybe on the top, I'm gonna to write that the number of turns, okay? I'll just write turns, turns equals two, and then the LPD equaled three. Okay, easy enough. Now go to this one, watch how simple this is. Okay, start on the left-hand side, work your way to the right. Notice you make one turn here, one single turn, okay? One single turn, add one to it, what's your least possible degree? It's two. It's now an X squared type of function, okay? So turns here, turns is gonna be one, and then the LPD or the least possible degree is gonna be two. So this would be some X squared function, whatever the remainder is. And this is some X cubed function, whatever the remainder is. And those should look kind of familiar, all right? And that's all it is. And that's why this might not look so familiar as a polynomial, because it ain't. It ain't, I said. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it, I really do hope this helps. And if it does, like, subscribe, and even if you don't mind mentioning us to your classmates, we'd appreciate it so very much. It's a awesome way to help us out. And uh, honestly, our, our future is totally in your hands. So we would appreciate it so very much if you could just give us a little boost. All right. And in return, I promise to provide you with more help. See, symbiotic relationships. Aren't they wonderful? Take care.